Hello guys and girls, welcome back to Aussie's Motor Tips on YouTube. Um, today, as you've typed in, it's all about brake pads. Um, information and examples of where you should change it, when you should change it. Um, and basically just straight up, what the heck are you doing pads to, uh, yes, these are gorgeous pads. Um, it's all about brake pads today. And it's just a quick video to show you when you should be changing them and how to identify when that time is ready if you haven't got a brake pad sensor. Um, some cars come with brake pad sensors that uh, when a certain limit is reached, when the pad is worn, um, it'll come out on your dash, uh, on your dashboard and, well, the job's done for you. But not all cars have got that. So these, this tip is, well, for everyone really, because you can keep an eye on it anyway. But uh, for, yeah, main, I would say mainly people that hasn't got this sensor, which is quite a lot of you still. And um, the newer cars are coming in as standard to have that now. Um, but yeah, I've got the uh, day off work today. So um, I thought I would give you a little bit of a tip if you're interested or want to check yourself um, it's relatively simple and uh, we'll try to cover everything that springs to mind i think uh, about pads and discs um, indications of needing changing exam um, and examples i've got examples here to show you okay so um let's go and have a look at these pads okay ciao Hello guys and girls, welcome back. Okay guys, to we're at the table um, and here is a crash course on just brake pads only. Um, I will include brake discs in this talk as well. Um, the reason why there's a phone there by the way, and you can see exactly what you're say, seeing, is the fact that I want to be able to see what you guys are seeing or what it's recording. Okay, I don't want to be talking and you can't see what the hell I'm talking about. So that's why that's there. It's a guidance for me, um, so you get a better video. Okay, that's uh, that's just that's just what uh, what I'm looking at. Anyway, pads, brake pads. So if we open the box, we've got two different pads here. If you, well, I, I know you can see because I'm looking at the screen at the top. Um, <clears throat> so these pads, if I remember rightly come off a Ford Fiesta, I think. That might be wrong, but I know it's a car I haven't got anymore, that's for sure. Um, this possibly could fit Mini, I don't know. But um, this is a brand new pad. Okay, These clips here are to go into the piston, which is in your caliper. Um, pistons are hollow 99% of the time. Um, in a caliper um, and what they do is they clip inside the piston um, and remain in the piston at all times okay so that's your piston side caliper this is also a piston side caliper as well but we'll get to that one in a minute so the way you know that there's enough there's enough tread or tre uh, there's enough meat we'll call it meat on your on your pad is this bit here from there to there um, and this bit is irrelevant that's literally just holding the meat there that that has its job of course it does it, it holds in the caliber but this is this is the back plate this is the meat that is the clip that goes into your um, into your piston in your in your caliper okay so when you apply the brakes I'm the I'm the I'm the uh, piston now with the caliper my hand is you apply the brakes and it goes on to the disc so I'll be the disc this side so you, you apply the brakes and boom okay not not that much movement by the way but i'm glorifying the movement there's never that much movement it's pretty much if you want to know i'll try and catch this on camera it's pretty much right up like that 
and then the the movements like even even half that okay there's nothing anyway so this is when you know how to change the brake is if I get the other one now spot the difference <laughs> there's a lot of difference like I said these are different ends of the spectrum this is new this is past old this is ridiculous actually as you can see there's literally no meat whatsoever it's literally just bare metal pretty much actually there is a little bit of meat just tiny tiny bit but next to nothing that should have been changed before it got to this state okay this should not be changed if it's in your car this is gorgeous this is fine there's loads of miles on that depends on your driving style but that is that is fantastically nice yeah this one like I said opposite ends of the spectrum now these two come from the same the same car um, obviously I sold the car before I got to fit the pads that's just me that's what I do uh, <laughs> uh, please let me know what it, what car this is from I can't remember it's either Ford Fiesta um, Suzuki wagon or something like uh, Matiz I don't know I've had all these cars I think they're a Matiz actually I'll show you them in a minute and some pads actually come with a groove going right through the center right through there these don't these are in my opinion less efficient believe it or not with that groove going through the center you have more efficient braking in my opinion that's only my opinion I think the groove through the center are better pads the reason being is because there's a bit of breathing space there um, for the for the uh, heat and also there's an indicator uh, indicator indicator for um, brake wear so the the groove will end about there on this one and if you go down to the groove you've wore your brake away that's it that's the end of the story okay um, yeah so as you can imagine please definitely do not make it go to this point that's literally just the back plate only that's ridiculous okay that's just wrong and uh, you can see where the disc has actually scored onto it it's terrible so I can only imagine what the disc was like when I took this out when I brought the car I would have probably 100% in inspected the disc probably changed it so I'm, I'm guessing this is a Ford Fiesta because I did do a disc change on a Ford Fiesta years ago so I bet you this is where it's come from but yeah that's terrible the the disc would have got scored I bet you there was a step on the outside and inside of the disc um, so the disc got changed as well and like I said this is new no attention needed um, and it's fantastic please check out my brake service video it's on this channel um, and you'll get to see pads coming out of a caliper you'll get to see uh, pins that slide the sliding pins um, and all that stuff so we come to these and this is a classic example of what I'm talking about a bit better I think these these are from a Matiz I'm sure of it a Dayu Matiz um, and like I said earlier a slice right through the center and it ends just before I would say the back plate yep so you would Break, 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 use, 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 and then this slice would go, and then you would definitely get your pads changed ASAP, I would say. It's getting quite close there, yeah. See that? So, yeah, this, you, you know, you've got you to change it when that's, when that's gone, when this slice is gone. But like I said earlier, this, these are better brakes, I think. Um, it just it gets rid of the heat when you put the 
when you put the pads on the, uh, the disc and the disc is rotating um, the heat gets drawn out um, yet yeah, this one is constant friction all the time okay even though this one's smaller but it was a smaller car so also another clip as you can see that goes on inside the piston um, and this is a good example of a pad without going into the piston there we go no clip so these are a pair I would think definitely and we'll act the pen as the as the uh, disc so you would it would be about there I would say but we're going to glorify the movement okay so you would put the pedal on the brake fluid would build up pressure behind the piston which is this side if it's a one piston caliper um, and the caliper joins the two pads on these connectors there and there it's locked in a caliper and this side goes with the pressure and the caliper will bring this one in too okay and then bind and stop your car now it is known and very very common that one of these will wear more than the other if that is happening you need to service your brakes and once again i will say i've got that on my youtube channel please check it out if that is happening just follow those instructions grease etc etc clean grease clean grease maybe change pads maybe change discs inspect everything but if they're breaking evenly and you've got this kind of meat on it or near this kind of meat or even half this kind of meat with this slice showing then you're good um if it's not making any noise etc um, but like I said inspect your brakes if they are looking a bit like this then you need change it needs changing okay I don't know if you can see this because I've got a black table but okay that needs changing if they're like that if there's two like that for example I mean each side that's terrible so get them changed now. Do not take to the road because this is <laughs> this has gone past. Well, look at that. You know, you see where the disc made contact with the metal. Um, but you know, if they're like this, they don't they don't need changing. Okay. Um, some cars have alloy wheels, so you can literally just hang on one second. There, you literally just shine a torch on the back of the caliper and have a look at what meat you've got like that um, you can do that if you've got alloy wheels um, so some you can get a torch in there um, you know turn your wheel etc you can do that um, and others you can't you've got the typical standard stock wheel um, and you have to take the wheel off again I'm gonna say it again the, my brake service video shows you most of that I would say I think the wheel is already off when I come out to I can't remember now I'd done the video a while ago but yeah take, jack the car up take your wheel off and have a good look steer the steering wheel so the caliper is easy to get to and have a look at these pads and like I said if they're like that crappy one get them changed and even whilst you're at it take a look at the brake fluid dot four dot three if it smells like uh, well smells of death then get it changed um, if it doesn't smell of death and it looks like honey then you're pretty much all right I would say um, one more thing if the disc okay we'll, we'll use a circle like this right okay so that's the disc okay it's very 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 small um, and the pads are against the disc yeah okay as the disc rotates it can oh, I've got some up there now it can 
um, leave a step on the outer edge and the inner edge. So if you're inspecting your disc as well, look out for that. There's, I would say a millimeter, maybe two mil is pushing it. Um, the size of the step on the outer edge and the inner edge. If there's a step no, uh, greater than two mil, I would say, that's, that's quite bad. Okay, um, get that changed, that needs a new disc. Okay, I know this is about pads, but um, that's that's quite relevant, I think. Okay, um, so I hope this video gives you a bit of an insight to what you're looking for. Um, get checking, get those torches out, because you're going to need a torch no matter, if, even if it's a sunny day. Um, some, you know, some wheel arches make it really quite sheltered and you can't see absolutely anything. So, yeah. Okay, so, like, like I said, I'll, I'll leave a, I'll leave a picture up of these two, um, which good, good or bad. I mean, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to find out what's good or what's bad out of these two, but I will anyway. Um, and yeah, change them up. Okay. And if you're struggling to change them up, have a look at my other channel. Uh, my other channel, my other uh, video on this channel, which is brake services, okay, on the mini one. I'll leave you with that picture and ciao for now. Okay, guys, we're at the table. Um, and